Hello, Chef here with yet another recipe for you. A free master class of cooking culinary immersion. So what am I making here? Take a guess. Well, you're wrong. Here we go. This is going to be a carrot, cranberry, raisin, onion, fresh thyme, aioli, vinaigrette, salad. You might try something like this at Thanksgiving or your next coming uh, uh, holiday gathering. So the first thing you got to do is you got to soak these cranberries because they're a little bit old. Same with the raisins. When I say old, I don't mean bad. I just mean that they're last seasons, that's all. So we take them and we put a little boiling water and we wait about five minutes. They expand, they become fresh, they become wonderful. That is what the chefs do in high-end resorts and Michelin star restaurants. So we take these, these uh, uh, older products sometimes, we soak them, we revitalize them with a new fresh recipe. Follow along. The first thing we're going to do, of course, is work with these giant carrots. You need a razor sharp chef knife and please invest in a quality peeler. This one's stainless steel. It's stamped Sweden. It's made in Sweden. Don't get the garbage for 99 cents. You're just going to keep throwing it away. I've been using this peeler. I have a few of them. This is probably five to ten dollars. This is going for maybe uh, 10 years and it's razor sharp and you can resharpen it. Okay, so first we remove the top and the bottom. And you know what we're going to do with those, right? We're going to save them in our scrap bag right here. Goes in the freezer. Okay, same with the... Ooh, the carrots smell nice and fresh. These are giant fresh farmer's carrots. Don't buy the little tiny tasteless carrots, okay? Get the real deal. Uh, we're going to give a peel. Uh, now, you see me doing this, right? Takes me about 15 seconds or less. To peel the whole carrot. So my question is, can your peeler do this? Well, I don't think so. Look at that. Beautiful. It took me less than 30 seconds to peel these carrots perfectly. And now where's the peel going? Yes, into the scrap bag, into the freezer. Chef will be making lots of soups coming up and I'm going to share a few of them with you. Okay, so the next step here, now I got these giant carrots, what do we do? We can use the knife and cut them. I'll show you the cut I'm looking for, something like this. For my salad, I'm looking for a cut about like this, okay? But I don't want to spend all day doing it. That's what I'm looking for right there. So the solution is pretty simple. Uh, you need to get a mandolin and buy, buy the best. This is a brawn, heavy duty, uh, special model. It's got a heavier frame, but you want to... You want to get the best tools you can afford, okay? Think of it as musical instruments. Do you really want to go to the junk shop and buy some garbage uh, guitar? made in uh, you know some Asian country or some third world country. A guitar for uh, $20 that you're simply gonna throw away? No, buy the best the first time. This is like a prized violin. By the way, I've been using this particular one here and lending it to other chefs maybe 20 years. It's going, it keeps going. And we pair this up with a cut proof stainless steel glove. Oh, this one is made in the USA. Another exclusive at your sponsor. Here we go. Carrots go right down. I adjust the mandolin just how I want it. And right there, and then we test it out. Uh-huh. That's what I'm looking for right there. You see it similarly matches my cut that I did with the knife. However, it's a bit more consistent even. Yeah, follow along. You 
this is why I have the glove. No cuts, I'm down to the last little piece. It's the first carrot right there. Wow! What do you think of that? Okay, both carrots have been cut. We place these in a bowl and we move on to the next step. Onion. Oh, the glove has some carrot on there now. No worries. It's dishwasher safe and laundry safe. Also, it's reversible. So for those of you worried about cuts, hurting yourself, or the kids cooking, things like that, you just reverse it. There we go. Works lefty or righty. Okay, my onion, I'm going to just use the, uh, the fine... Uh, the finest, thinnest cut, uh, I think we'll just use the knife here. These babies are hard to peel sometimes. So for the onion, we're just going to go with a really thin julienne. Mm -hmm. Keep those fingers rolled back, even with the glove on. It's good practice. Okay, there we go. That's probably enough onion for the salad I'm making right there. I'd say that's about one ounce. Onion scraps. Save them for your stock. Same with the garlic. Garlic scraps. Save them for your stock. I'll show you a chef's secret here as well. Might as well. So we're going to be putting some sugar in this recipe. Uh, my sugar, by the way, has vanilla beans in there. So it's got a little bit of an essence of vanilla. We're going to cream the sugar by using... We're going to cream the garlic by using a little bit of sugar and the knife. By the way, this will not hurt this knife. This knife is titanium. Creamed garlic, non-reactive titanium, bench scraper, carrots, it's all in there, all the good stuff, follow along. Okay, now the uh, raisins have been soaking long enough. We want to remove some of this liquid. There's a few reasons that we do this. I won't get into that, but anyway, these are nice and soft. Try one out. Wow, fresh raisins like they were just put in the bag yesterday. Same with the cranberries. Same thing there. Yep, that's what I'm looking for. Remember, I've worked in Michelin star restaurants and this is what we do. I'm sharing some free masterclass chef tips with you. Don't forget to subscribe right down there. Support your sponsor and uh, yeah, lots of stuff to learn on this channel. Clean mixing bowl, whisk. Half a teaspoon of fresh garlic. One and a half ounces of extra virgin balsamic vinegar. Mine has a truffle in there. Used in lots of the fine dining restaurants. White balsamic vinegar, two tablespoons. Sugar, two tablespoons. White pepper. A few dashes is all you need. Hawaiian pink sea salt. I like salt. Let's go with about a half a teaspoon. By the way, the grinder makes it nice and fine. Okay. And 
we're going to add some herbs. That is a sweet balsamic vinaigrette right there. Uh huh. Now, I'm going to continue, but this video is getting long, so we might do two parts. In this dressing, I've decided to utilize uh, mayonnaise to help hold it together with my balsamic vinaigrette. So I'm putting, I'm putting about three tablespoons of mayonnaise. Okay. I also like the uh, stone ground mustard from France. One teaspoon is what we're going to call that, okay? Then we're going to bring this together. And now what we have is a very quick balsamic vinaigrette mustard aioli. Wow, you're learning a lot today. So one thing the chefs always do in the uh, restaurants, of course, is we taste and we adjust the seasoning. Oh, yeah. Pepper. Salt. Uh-huh. Oh, yeah. It's going to be good. Next, I got this crazy amount of uh, herbs. This is fresh thyme. I don't need all of this. I just need some of it. And I want to give it a little chop, and I don't want the stems in there. Beautiful thyme, by the way. If you want some really nice herbs, I suggest you grow it yourself. Or meet your local farmers, your gardeners, people who are growing the herbs. Because that's the only way you're going to get your hands on the quality of uh, this type of herb. The freshness. Wow. Remove most of the stems. Okay. A couple of the very fine stems are okay. They're going to get chopped up. That's enough for me. I'm looking for about a half a teaspoon or so. And uh, wow, it smells so good, so fragrant. Okay, goes right in. Wow. A white balsamic fresh thyme vinaigrette aioli. This sauce would be amazing with all kinds of things. Let's give it another tasting here. Uh, always wash off the tasting spoon. Never double dip. Okay, take a look. Wow, I like it. Want a little more sugar? Another tablespoon of sugar. Yeah, and that's how we're cooking right there. Put a little more sugar, and I pulled out one of those vanilla beans. Using a small grater, we're going to add a little bit of vanilla to this salad. Mm -hmm. You can see the ground vanilla bean right there. Yeah, this is a whole nother level. Smells so good. Ah, the carrots, and the onions, a little bit of raw garlic there. Now I'm going to be adding my, my raisins, as well as my cranberries, and my dressing. a good idea to use a bowl scraper. Uh -huh. Get all that flavor into the bowl. That's where we're looking, looking for it. Okay, we're going to mix this up. And now, something you've not seen before on YouTube or on the, uh, the World Wide Web. Uh, chef is going to uh, do something a little unusual. There we go. Uh, quick taste. 
Okay, it's looking really good. Tastes really good. I'm going to put a touch more salt. Uh-huh. Put a little bit of uh, sugar on top of there. Yeah, I got a sweet tooth today. Okay, and then we're going to put another bowl on top. Get all this down in there, good. Another bowl on top like this. We're going to smash it down. And we're going to add some ice cold water for even some extra weight. Okay? Now, I'm going to put this in the refrigerator. I'm going to check on it. We'll get into uh, plating and serving it a little, little, little bit later, but I want to have that extra weight pressing down on it while it's cold. Uh, I would say minimum three or four hours, ideally 24 hours. A nice salad like this will stay fresh for uh, quite a few days. Okay, chef here, and a few hours later, if you were watching the uh, earlier part of this video, you'd know that I weighted this down with a few pounds of water. Let's see what's underneath. Oh yeah, look at that carrot salad. Let's give it a little lift here. Incorporate all the flavors. Oh yeah, the uh, creamy vinaigrette is going to do a few things. Adds tons of flavor. Uh, a little bit of uh, contrast as well as preserves it. Wow, let's plate this up. I've chosen this nice uh, rare Buffalo China plate. By the way, this is a special limited edition. This came out of a Michelin Resort. I'm not going to tell you which one, but wow, it's a cool plate. All right, I'm going to put a little bit of... Uh, Salad right on the middle like this. The nice substantial amount of dressing. Make sure I get some of those cranberries and raisins up on the top there. Okay. All right. I'm going to garnish with uh, fresh herbs since I got them. A little bit of thyme on the plate. Uh, keep it simple. We're going to keep it simple with one, two, three little pieces like that. And since we've got the herbs, we might as well use them. I've got a little bit of a uh, Fresh uh, oregano and rosemary there as well. Looking really, really good. Yeah, please comment, like, share, subscribe. Tell me what you think. And are you going to try this recipe out? Oh, yeah. It's going to be a hit. Uh -huh. Get cooking and have a great day. finish loaves. I love butcher block. Yeah, this is end grain maple. You can see it's ready for some more oil. This is edge grain cherry. It's been oiled once and then it's been sealed at the factory. Uh, it's really, really nice. I like it. And uh, this one here, this is edge grain maple. So different looks and different uh, sizes, different thicknesses. Edge grain has certain applications. End grain has certain applications. They're all on sale at your sponsor right there. In stock and quick shipping, you're going to love it. By the way, this is an authorized dealer with over 50 years of combined experience in butcher block. So I suggest you uh, shop with the experts. Get the best the first time. That's my motto. Get the best the first time to, to apply mystery oil. Give it a shake, a little bit of uh, beeswax and uh, mineral oil, some other good stuff in here. I like it. Uh, first application, just like this. Swirl motion. Yeah. Okay, once you got the swirl motion down, plastic bag. Why? Because it's recyclable and it's not flammable. Uh, I would not use uh, cloth 
it'll absorb too much and it becomes flammable. Oh, look at that block. Really, really nice. You can see all the hard work has paid off just with the look and the color. Oh, yeah. If you need one of these blocks, contact your sponsor if you need the butcher block treatment. Okay, I'm in the kitchen. I've got this fresh basil. It's looking really, really nice there. I've got a razor sharp knife. You're wondering just how sharp this is, right? Yeah. Always good to start with a very sharp knife. mystery oil. There's another product a little thicker that has a little more beeswax. That's the board cream. Good stuff. Shake it up. I've got more tricks. Watch some of the other videos. More tricks with this too. We shake it up. We put it on in a swirling motion like this. Okay. And we use a uh, plastic bag because it can be recycled. And I don't want any fire hazard or anything around, floating around, any used product, plastic bag, recycle. Circular motion like this. Oh, yeah. Okay. I'm almost done. All right. So, that's it. This surface has been treated. You can do the sides if you'd like. and you're ready to continue your work or your prep or your cooking on this side, oil this side about a week later, or even the next day. Oh, this end grain surface is very similar. Same thing. Bench scraper, give it a little scrape. Remove any food particles or dirt that might be on there. Oh yeah, look at all that. Some of this is spices, by the way, okay? This is good to go. Yeah, and now we repeat with a little bit of this magical mystery oil. Just a little bit like this. Plastic bag recyclable. Swirling motion. There, oh yeah, looking good. That surface is treated and it's ready to go. I would repeat this at least monthly. Thanks for watching. Subscribe right there. Smash that little like button so other people find the videos. Get cooking and have a beautiful day. Oh yeah, it's looking really, really good. Check out the huge selection at your sponsor. Edge grain, end grain, maple, cherry, walnut. 
big blocks, small blocks, countertops, island tops, cutting boards, and many, many other wood products and applications. Thanks for watching. With this glove on, you have full protection, no cuts, no issues. I like it, it works, and uh, wow, it protects. That's what it's all about, safety. Yeah, made in America, made in USA, only at your sponsor right there. Yeah, check it out. Get cooking. Have a great day. Oh, yeah. It's going to be good.